respected and believed in the government of the day. It served them well. Then their daughter, Sandra, was born. Unlike her older brother, Sandra was much darker than her parents, but it didn't seem to matter. She was their child, they said. They loved her as much as they did her lighter-skinned baby brother. The Langs lived in a remote place called Brereton Park. They were shop owners. Sonny tended to the shop at home, which served the nearby black community of Drifontein, while Abraham ran a shop at Punbolt, a few kilometers away. Sandra grew up like any other white little Afrikaans girl. She seemed outgoing and happy, unaware of the storm that would rage around her later in life. Today, at the age of 44, Sandra is reserved and shy. She doesn't speak easily about herself or her feelings. Yet she still remembers her carefree years, now light years away. Her mother was gentle.